Yo, we're back with more Persona 5 Strikers. Uh, I need to apologize for the last episode. So, I went after, I went over a bunch of stuff with what happened into the recording at the near the end of the last episode, when it started becoming a new recording, in a sense. But, uh, something else happened that I didn't realize until after I ended that recording. Which is that, apparently... I was playing it all throughout. I was playing it all throughout my audio output capture. But the thing is, I had. You can't. If you place something over OBS, the audio doesn't play. So I had to play it through. I had to play a secondary thing so I could hear the audio myself. Which in turn. Which in turn led to it the audio on the on the actual upload playing twice. So there was. So there was like two videos worth of audio playing and it was and there was a slight echo because it was desynced and all that. So I profusely apologize for that. I th that was a complete oversight and something that just blew past my brain. Anyways, let's talk to people. Shouldn't we be going? Next up is Hokkaido. Make sure you're all, you're all, you've taken care of all your last minute shopping and sightseeing. If you'd like, you can even train for a bit in the jail. A little workout before a long car ride can do wonders. You are correct, but first off, we have something that Futaba wants us to deal with. Yo! There you are, Tobias. I want to get a picture in this cutout board before we head out. This is a great photo op, so it'd be a real waste not to. I've gone ahead and called Inari over, too, so you should join in. Sure. Thank you. Okay, I thought it would be an actual quest, but yeah, I'm okay with this. Alright. <laughs> Okay, without further ado, it's time to play Who Looks More Like Dot Date Masamune. Also, I should have re seen this one coming. I should have seen that it was, uh... Because we had the thing with with Ryuji and On before we left Shibuya, so we're probably going to get at least one with every character. In the blue corner, we have Inari. That's fine. Hmm? I don't quite follow, but I'll do my best. How's this? Ooh. Whoa, this is crazy. You really do look like him. <laughs> Looking good, Yusuke. Hmm. It's like he's wearing armor. How interesting. What's up, Masamune? Very well. <laughs> I can't say I don't like the sound of that. Hmm. Uh, wait, did I just read that? Oh, yeah. No, I read it right. I'm just, I just, my brain has been all over the place today, if I'm being honest. Hmm, there's still something missing. Are you going to ask me to get on the oh, right side? Right. Oh, I know. Tobias, you get the other one. I knew it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, here comes the princess. Cute couple. Something is amiss. Tobias, is it just me or are we being exploited for her entertainment? We're an item now. Well, if you say so. Right, right. Yeah, looks great. But maybe you could get a little more into the role. Like this. Aww. Nope, not even close. Look, Inari, your Lord Date Masamune. As ruler of the Tohoku region, everyone's throwing mad respect your way. You gotta own it. In that case. I see. Then perhaps like this. You think you can win the respect of your people like that? <sighs> uh, then how about this? <laughs> I wasn't expecting the cut in. Oh my god, his face, I didn't even realize it. <sighs> Sorry, you actually kind of freaked me out. <laughs> Look at this fucking idiot. Oh man, I'm gonna need to like zoom in on that and use that as a thumbnail or something. Everyone had fun, fun at the photo stand then. <laughs> Dying. Oh, listen up. This Kuo Nichinose is like a pretty big name in the AI field. So she's a computer expert who can apparently blow off the whole world around here during a rant. The verdict of the ex shut in sounds like she might be the best the most social butterfly in the garden. Maybe that means Well, don't worry, she's got a whole bunch of new friends now with plenty of experiences breaking through to people. Hey, don't sell the power of social anxiety short. 
Although I will say, a fellow geek is easier than anyone else for me to talk to. Come on, come on! Soon do the Phantom Thieves of World of Good, so we bet so we shouldn't just let her do her thing for now while we get to Hokkaido. Alright. Uh, where else is everyone located? Ryuji's over this way. We can talk to him. Let's talk to our boy. How's it going? Hey. Yo, I'm thinking of hitting up a ramen joint before we roll out. Apparently Sendai is all about the spicy miso ramen. Can you believe I never heard of this way before the trip? You should grab one last bowl for yourself if you think you'll miss it. I'm not sure. Why, hello there. Is that all you need? Here you are. Is that what you'll get? Here, come again. You lied, they didn't have soba. Um, 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 um. Alright. And I'm gonna miss this music, unless... I wonder what the next area theme's gonna be like. Unless they just recycle it. I wouldn't be surprised if they just had every... new area theme have the same theme, but... I don't know. What a coincidence. Look, Tobias. It's a town about a decoration. Beautiful. Maybe a standard tour souvenir, but I still find it has a decent, a certain elegant charm. Apparently, these festival decorations are not safe solely for display. Individuals may write down their own wishes and tie them to the branches. Common wishes include the happiness and success of family and loved ones. I see. Yes. Let's say we display this one in the RV, Tobias. Considering how wishes and desires are one and the same, he would make a rather fitting souvenir for our trip. Oh. A little memento. Got an achievement. No complaints here. Good day. I had a great time at the festival yesterday. In fact, I haven't had that much fun in a good long while. And all of the food was great. I noticed everyone gorging themselves more than usual. Was the food especially delicious? Mm. Well, it was good, but I think it was the level, the lively environment, atmosphere that made it so easy to get a little wild. The dazzling lights, the colorful decorations, the roar of the drums and the crowd. My head's buzzing from all the laugh, from all the laughs. All of these things came together to make a once-in-a-lifetime moment. And so, got it. Fun things to make for special memories. That they do. Hi, Lavenza. Bye, Lavenza. Let's talk to On, and then I think we're about ready to head out. I walked the wrong way. All the signs and posters of Natsume are already gone. It's like he was never here. I wonder if that this means he never actually got anyone in his cor. If this, I wonder if that means he never actually had anyone in his corner. Wait. Please hold on. That is not the case. I found a number of posts online where people are supportive of Na Natsume. Oh, in that case, I think he'll j make it just f he'll make it just fine in the end. Yeah, I hope he comes back. So I can't believe I can't believe Oda Matsushita finally published a book, and this is what happened. It's a damn shame. He actually published one of his works, and this is the result. Let's get to work. All right, gather in at the hideout. I think it's time we head out. What should we make? Anything new? Let's do this. Hey, uh, that sounds good. How about? Oh, one sec. Apologies. The feline wished to enter my domain. Whew. Looks good. All right. Here's what request do we have? Are you double checking oh. the request? I never sent this in, apparently. Mission accomplished. Whoops. Are you double checking the request? Good job. There we go. Almost forgot to turn those in. That's everything done. What are you gonna do? We had an out. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. And Morgana said the same thing. On the road again. Same day. Good From here, it'll take approximately 12 hours under normal driving conditions, as well as a trip by ferry. No way! I thought we were closer than that. Hmm. Guess we'll have to stop and snooze another night before we get there. Mm. Even after landing in Hokkaido, we still have a long drive ahead of us. 
Will you be all right, Mako-chan? Don't worry. I'll be able to power the whole way through. <laughs> you rock, Makoto! I like that energy! Dun, 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 dun. A certain parking area. <sighs> I have to admit, I'm kind of exhausted. <laughs> Should rest for a bit. All this time on the road is starting to get to me. This is the longest I've ever driven, so any amount of rest would help. I mean, hey, at least I, I guess it makes for good training? I don't know. That's true. We were in the camper all day. We definitely owe you a break. Yeah. Sorry for asking too much of you, Mako-chan. I wish I could drive in your stead. Don't you worry about me. Driving's a responsibility I enjoy. <laughs> Plus, it's nice listening to everyone chatter away in the back. Keeps me alert and motivated. <laughs> and we will find a way to repay your devotion. Ryuji, massage her shoulders at once and procure the finest soft serve money can buy. I feel like if you massage her sh shoulders, she's gonna punch you on reflex, Ryuji. Get someone else to do it. On it! Wait, why does it have to be me? I'll massage you too before bed. I know this technique that works wonders on sore muscles. Us models use it all the time. Huh. That'd be great. I could use a good massage. Makoto, I need to apologize. What? Oh, why? Why do Makoto? Because I can't help you. Even though I know how effective physical stimulation is at treating fatigue. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what you meant. I was just like, w w why are you apologizing to her? There's nothing you've done wrong. But I'm all digital, and therefore incapable of massaging. No, not true. Okay, Joker, I know what to do. Smack Makoto on the back with your phone repeatedly. An AI that can't provide assistance cannot be humanity's companion. Oh my god. I'm as worthless as a bug. <laughs> uh, Sophia? Are you going through mood swings or something? You're a good fighter. True. She does pack quite the punch in battle. Wait, how is that even relevant? <laughs> You've been a great deal of help so far. We owe you a lot, Sophia. You mean it? That makes me happy. Udashi. And I do want to try this soft serve you speak of. Her mood swung right back to normal. Yep. Makoto, you look spent. I say we call it a day the moment we reach Hokkaido. Probably. In that case, we should treat ourselves to some local cuisine for dinner. Oh, I've always wanted to try wasabi soda. Uh, no thanks. there oh it's a new day nighttime hang in there Makoto Sapporo's just a stone's throw away I hear you Hokkaido sure is vast isn't it so I assume that we are that Zenkichi and the whatchamacallit the police already know who we're gonna be trying to go after the question uh pub sec I mean so I so, unlike with Natsume, we're not going to have to search for who it is, I would assume. I'm just thinking ahead. Fast enough to call it huge, Kaido, by my reckoning. It's supposed to be a lot cooler up here, so hopefully that means no more stuffy, sleepless nights. <laughs> you said it. There's nothing more hellish than sleeping in a hot, sweaty tent crammed with dudes. Hellish indeed. We're so overheated we'd nearly strip naked by morning time. I found it obscenely refreshing. Yusuke has has risen to the surface once again. <sighs> this reminds me of the time when I he came into when he went into Joker's <laughs> room and then said, Man, it's very hot here. What should we do? We could always strip naked. Ah, that sounds like a wonderful idea. Just make sure you keep the nudity inside the tent, please. Yep. Oh, twist in it. Hokkaido? Hokkaido. Oh, Sapporo. Close enough. Is that Tokyo Tower? Hello, Sapporo! So this is Sapporo Central City. A bustling outpost of civilization, cradled by the untamed wilderness. Hey, you think they're still doing the snow festival? Are you seriously that dumb? The snow festival. In August. Yeah, sure. Well, it certainly is cooler here than Tokyo. It should be a nice change of pace. I know we just got here, but 
I want to check whether there's a jail nearby. Sophia? I do smell a jail. An intense one. I mean, we are here for a reason. Just like Gramps said. That means whoever Zenkichi's looking into is the monarch of Sapporo. So it looks like we need to meet up with with Zenny boy. Then may I suggest we comb the area for intel? Uh, before that, I think we should hit the bath. Seriously, I've been feeling all gross since yesterday. Agreed. It would be nice to freshen up a little first. Mm. Then let me help. I've already located a bathing facility only 500 meters from here. Wow, Sophia, you work quick. <laughs> Guess it's bad all those three steps guys. ahead. In the meantime, I'll be on the prowl for that intel. Don't worry, Mona-chan. I'll rinse you down as soon as we're done. What? what? No, no, I, I can clean myself just fine. Bitch wouldn't be denied if it was Lady On offering. It's just as the data says. Cats hate getting wet. <laughs> Don't lump me in with those other fur balls. I demand you give your data a full rewrite. I'd like to try a bath. Would someone mind bringing this phone in? <laughs> I, uh, Joker, is your phone waterproof by chance? Uh, wouldn't the hot water, like, wreck it? Along with you inside? Oh, yeah. I'm sure we can work out the details. Now, Sophia, will you guide us there? Good lord. Oh, nope, new music. Mm hmm This is at Odori Park. It's famous for its fountain and TV tower. Oh, that's TV tower, I guess. Never mind. The bathhouse is in a place called Suzushino. It should only be a short wa walk away from here, so let's get going. Oh, great. Five new things. Do I have to take care of these right away? Here's what I found. Trapped in Wonderland. Shibuya, Sendai, Sendai, Shibuya, Sendai. You're doing this one? Uh, okay, so that's that again. Okay, let's do our bet. You're Junk collection. Deliver chip microchips. Okay. Okay. Are you double checking the request? There, how's the trip going? Hope you don't mind me hitting you up right away. I'd like to analyze some of that mysterious junk you keep finding. Ah, so that's what those are. You're accepting this request? Sophia, ho hoping to offer more equipment. I wish I could offer a higher quality selection of armors, but I have to make it. Okay, so I have to defeat five Ortheris. Time to get to work. You're accepting this request? Okay, let's do our best. And You're this. doing this one? Deliver Forgotten Desire. We'll Let's take care of that. Work. We'll take care of that later. Let's do a few things here. I assume we don't have to do them instantly, at least. Interesting. Well, we can walk quite a bit of a distance here, actually. Mm, check it out. That's super. Um, that's what you're getting. Thank you. There we go. We've got whatever you- Is that all for today? Thank you. Is that all for today? Carry your- That's a popular- Thank you very much. Is that all for today? Carry your- Is that all for- Carry your items. Is that all for today? Thank there you. There we very... go. Thank you. Easy peasy. Hmm? Mommy, do you think Kaho-chan will like these? Kaho. I do. She'll say. Thank you for the pretty flowers. If only heaven wasn't so far away, then maybe I could see her. Uh, someone died? Did something happen over there? They're leaving flowers. Maybe somebody passed away. But why would they leave them in a place like this? Now that you mention it, I do recall there was an accident on the news. Something about a snow sculpture collapsing in Odori Park? Huh. It ended Maybe that was where it happened. Whoops. I can only imagine the sorrow her family must be suffering. Hmm. Cat, what do you need? Sorry, the cat's rubbing up against me right now. Can you stop doing that, please? I got stuff to do. And by stuff to do, I mean I got a recording. Alright, I think we're good now. Yeah. What's wrong? Are we not taking a bath anymore? Hmm. Hmm. This family seemed rather upset earlier. Did something bad happen here? Time will tell. 
really curious how people are going to be affected by a jail in a place like this. Support the tower. You're going to reach the... Ah, so that... Oh, so that we go under that in order to reach a place. Or maybe it's a saying that we need to go this way. Could be either. Nipoto. Huh. I like this new theme. Now we're in Suzushino, which is apparently a haven for pedestrians around this time. I wonder why it's so crowded, though. Everyone's talking about voting. Let's go. Uh oh. Voting. Are we gonna be dealing with politicians? How can I help? Will this be a to go? Here you go. Will this be a to thank you? Have you decided? Here. Will this be a to thank you? So will this be will this here you go? Have you decided? Thank you so much. There we go. Thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much. Hmm. Thank you. What's this called? Hmm. Oh, so they're only so we have to come back at night, it seems? Hmm? I'll have to keep that in mind, I suppose. Nope, don't care. Up this way. Man, I can't walk into the street. The game sucks. I can go to the other side, though. Let's take your time. But that's what you like, that's all. But that's what you like. Is that all you need? Is that all you need? But that's what you like. Thank you, but that's what you like. Oh, it's a drugstore. Didn't even realize we were going into a drugstore there. Makes sense, though. Hmm. Lucky Tori. Hmm. Looks like this is a night related city. Hi there. I wish I could just talk to Lobenzo without going into the place. Midoru. Hmm. Yes. Yorin Groceries. That all? Might as Want well your, get everything. You done? Here, you done? Here, you go. That all? Want your. That all? Here, you go. That all? Here, at all. Want your at all. Want your come again. Come again. Time to take a bath. Yes. Okay, we're here. What a fancy spot. Okay, go get yourself cleaned up. Sure thing, Mo. Ah, now this is paradise. Lost in well, paradise. The heat has crept into my bones. <laughs> I miss the place near LeBlanc. <laughs> yeah, that bath was pretty solid. We should go again when we're in town. Anyways, yeah. it's nice having a bath like this all to ourselves. Can't get that at home. What's more, we're in the middle of a long journey. We must take proper measures to recover our strength and stamina. Whoa, on! Are those CGI? What? CGI? I hear the vo girls' voices coming from the other side. What cheat codes did you use to get those? Dieting life hacks? You're so skinny. Yes. Oh my god. I was like, what are you talking about CGI? And I'm just like, oh yeah, nerd talk for a body. Could you stop drawing attention to me? Go bother Haru instead. Hers are no different. Boob talk. <gasps> stop it! Haru, not bad. These could knock someone flat. <laughs> or they're talking about asses, and, and I'm, now I'm just imagining the <laughs> picture of Squidward with a flattened face from a. Could you please keep it down? <laughs> Remember, <laughs> it's not only us in here. One of you two speak up and be like, "Yep, we can hear you." <laughs> be silent. Oh yes. Oh thanks. I've been really working these abs. Wait, what? <laughs> Man, this water feels great. Morgana really should have been here. Yeah. Sophia might like it as well, though being incorporeal may pose a challenge. Who knows? Maybe she one really day. She really is a mystery, ain't she? What are your thoughts on her? Hmm. <laughs> oh, I want to say both of these, but. I've got to do this for the meme. That much is obvious, but didn't she say something about wanting to understand people's hearts? Yeah. Ah, oh, the heart of mankind. Try as I may, I have yet to depict its full essence in my paintings. It hides mm. both darkness and light. 
mingling beauty and atrocity in its depths. Try as you may to unravel it, its enigma grows deeper still. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not sure I can comment on that, but <laughs> I do know Sophia gets along with all of us. Gets me thinking she might not need to worry about all that heart stuff. As long as she has people by her, and she doesn't go off the deep end on anything. It's to become a good companion. Mm. You have a point there. Does she not endeavor to become humanity's companion? Perhaps she wishes to uncover the workings of the heart in order to achieve this. Uh, yeah, what you said. She seems pretty dead set on it, too. Yeah. If that's what Sophia has decided, we should lend her our full support. She is our precious ally, after all. This is true. <laughs> true enough. She could use all the help she can get. Damn it. He's starting to get to me. Want to ditch the bath and grab some milk coffee? Mm. I'll take strawberry instead. Whoa, that sounds good too. Now I can't make up my mind. <laughs> I protest. We are in Hokkaido, as you may recall. It would be a sin to forego its fresh dairy offerings for some artificial substitute. <laughs> Can I get some chocolate milk instead? To Actually, it properly, we must partake right as it's squeezed from the other, the way farmers have done for millennia. Yusuke, what are you? Uh, yeah, knock yourself out, man. Yusuke, I suggest you uh try that one yourself and leave us out of it. Oh lord. All right. Body and mind refreshed. Ooh. That bath was just what we needed. Thanks for suggesting this place, Sophia. Yeah, you did well. No prob. Glad I could be of service. I noticed you guys were pretty quiet. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> you know. Well, we didn't have anything, uh, as grand to talk about as you, to say the least. Huh? Oh. You have a phone call from Zenkichi. Oh, there we go. Greetings. You are now speaking to the long arm of a mole. So, you guys in Sapporo yet? Daughter. No. I was being facetious. You do know what that means, right? I've heard the word before. I honestly forget the meaning. Anyway, I wanted to set up a meeting. How about I swing by the RV in the evening? Got it. Zenkiji's gonna meet us? Then let's go be ready for him. Understood. We switch in from noon to night? Yep, we are. Now that we're all together, let's talk about the monarch of Sapporo. All right, Our suspect's it? name is Mariko Hyodo. Oh, and wait for it. She's the mayor of Sapporo Central. And that would explain why we saw so much talk about politics. Futaba, is your head in the ceiling? Oh wait, no, I think the ceiling's just higher over there. Never mind. Our target's a mayor? No way! Wouldn't that make her the most influential person in Sapporo? How could someone like that be a monarch? <sighs> Shiro wasn't so different. This is true. Such things have happened before. How'd you find out she's the one? Because everybody is suddenly in love with her. Mayor Hyodo's approval rating now sits at a lofty 88%. She gained 50 points in the last two months alone. Yeah, that's definitely suspicious. Did you say 50? So she got crazy popular out of nowhere? It's more than just crazy. It's unheard of. There's more. Last month, three city councilmen who opposed her bill admitted to corruption and resigned. Mm. Any remaining councilmen who opposed her suddenly became her most fervent advocates. Huh. Not to mention the elections coming up. It's all too convenient. Yeah. Rumor has it, Shoto wants to expand her political influence to the national level. Pupsec's been investigating that. But, alas, we haven't run across any solid leads just yet. So, what do you make of all this? Someone's changing hearts. Bingo. And that's where you come in. It is suspicious, I will admit. 
considering we're saying suspicions and we're not 100% sure, we're probably going to have to do investigating on it just to make, find more info. But we'd need a keyword to confirm whether she's a monarch or not. Mm. That won't be a problem. She's already referenced Emma several times in her speeches, meaning there's a good chance she's been announcing her keyword in public. So you're what? saying we can find out her keyword if we go see her speak? Very likely, yes. Well then. In fact, Kyoto's going to be in Suzushino on the 10th making a speech. Since it's close to the election, the crowds may well be in the thousands. That's a grip. Damn. If she is indeed changing people's hearts, then perhaps this is no surprise. <sighs> is something wrong, Haru? No, it's just... It's hard to explain. I mean, Haru was the one that first noticed what was happening over with that... With with the flowers and whatnot when we first arrived. Mariko Hyodo. The name seems familiar somehow. Hmm? I mean, she is the mayor of town. Maybe you've heard her name on TV. Well, we had on and then we had Yusuke. Is it actually going to be Haru's time to shine? I thought it would be for a second again with, with Natsume or whatever, but... It might be Haru's time now. Who knows? Possibly. Sorry. Let's put that aside for now. Whatever you aye do, aye. don't try and contact her directly. I'm saying this to keep you safe. It'll be a downright pain in the ass if she finds out we're onto her. I suggest you enjoy your leisure time until the day of the speech. All right. Hey, should we tell him what happened with Ichinose-san? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's an important part of our investigation now. Of course, of course. Well, I wonder if this is actually a decision I get to make. No, he should know. All right. You two have something you want to share? Now, yeah, one sec. You made a deal with the inventor of Emma? Yeah, maybe. Man, that cat just cannot make up his mind if he wants to stay in this room or out. Wait, hold on. That's Kuan Ichinose, you said? Where have I heard that before? Right, she was on my report. Ichinose is the one who wrote Emma from scratch. Yep. Were you looking into her? I was looking into Medis, actually. Wasn't long before her name popped up. The famous inventor who sold off Emma to Medis. Tell me, how'd you get cozy with someone like that? Sure, luck. Oh, well, uh, I guess it just sort of happened. What matters is her familiarity with Emma. If anyone abuses it, she could help us find out who and why. Only Ichinose knows Emma's ins and outs, no matter what version it is. Mm. Makes sense. The report didn't make her out to be somebody dangerous. And while she does sound like a valuable source of info, I really want you guys to be more careful about this operation. Yeah. I'm trusting you guys a lot by sharing all this classified intel. So I'd prefer you don't go creating liabilities like this behind my back. Understood. We'll take your advice to heart. Yeah. Good. And besides, Shouldn't I be your go-to guy for help? That's the plan. Seeing you guys run off making confidants left and right makes me feel like a lonely old man. Oh no. Zenkichi, don't say that. You're just giving them an excuse to call you Gramps. You are just opening yourself to attack. This needs to stop. Are you trying to gain our trust or get attention? <laughs> Hate to say it, Gramps, but oh, no. we do shit on our own because your help only gets us so far. What? It's not my fault I'm not an expert on all this cognitive mumbo-jumbo. Mumbo and would it jumbo. kill you to ditch the Gramps? I'm as fly as any one of you kids. <laughs> I believe this is this is the proper time to say, how do you do, fellow kids? Uh. Uh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> at least say something. Oh, you know that you know that it's bad when Makoto's cringing at you. You know what? Take it as one glass is wear from another. I don't need your pity. <laughs> I love that line. I love this dude. I love his voice acting. I love everything about this man. I love his outfit. I love his hair. I love his goatee. I love his facial expressions. I love his glasses. I love everything. This dude is perfection. I don't need your pity. I don't need your pity. At least say something. Uh... I don't need your pity. <laughs> You're the one bringing it up. And would it kill you to ditch the Gramps? 
I'm as fly as any one of you kids. You're the one bringing it up. I don't need your pity. Sorry. Never mind that. Point is, there's a speech on the 10th, and I'm counting on you to be there. All right, man. All right. I don't need your pity. I wish there was something we could do until then. I'm not a fan of waiting. We could look for intel. What else can we do but be prepared and keep ourselves in top condition? True, you also need rest, Makoto. It's like Zenkichi said earlier. Let's enjoy our leisure time and make the most of our trip. Yep. Hey, uh, since we're in Hokkaido, we should chat out on seafood. Ooh. I hear Hokkaido's soup curry is also not to be missed. I'd like to visit the former government office. Their flowers are supposed to be breathtaking. Sounds okay. intriguing. Then I'll set a route that takes us to each of those destinations. Thanks, Sophia. The directions are all yours tomorrow. Ooh, super close to level 20. Oh well. Former Hokkaido government Check office. Check it out. It's actually pretty hip for such an old place. Damn. I like the colors. I mean, it's also probably just the fact that it's daytime and all the flowers and whatnot, but it really pops. It was once the main office for the Hokkaido government. Now it remains a symbol of the island and an important cultural property. Hmm. Simply marvelous. There's a stillness and symmetry here that ignites my artist's soul. Okay, Deaf the Kid, whatever you say. And the garden is so lovely. How many kinds of flowers do you think there are? What's going on over there? completely wilted how could you overlook this man a person with a portrait who is a woman that we found in Sapporo totally doesn't look like it's the person we're supposed to see tomorrow ma'am I'm so sorry it's just this summer's been much hotter than last year uh, it's a hot one spare me your excuses this flower bed is one of the city's main points of attraction yikes I'm not looking forward to dealing with this woman also, God, what what type of trauma is she gonna have? Just like, oh, poor me, I'm a politician, blah blah. I feel like I'm definitely not gonna feel more sympathetic than I am for. I'm not gonna be feel feeling as sympathetic for this woman as I am for either Alice or Natsume. Have you forgotten you work for the most powerful woman in Sapporo Central? Perhaps you won't be much longer. Please, no! I'll do anything to fix this! This dude sounds familiar, but he also sounds extremely unique. You can keep your eyes glued to these flowers around the clock for all I care. Just do not let this happen again. Then that's what I'll do, Mayor. Jeez, that's one scary lady. Oh, hold on. Did he just call her Mayor? Yep. Oh... Are you all here for sightseeing? Well, she turned around in two seconds flat. I'm sorry you had to witness such unprofessional behavior from our staff during your visit. Oh, no. Makoto is scared. Hmm. Uh, Haru? Happy? Yep. You're Haru-chan. Uh-oh. Huh? Chan. Oh god, is she like a family relative or something? Of course you wouldn't recognize me. You were tiny the last time I saw you. Oh, I think that answers our question on who this jail is going to focus on. It's me, Mariko Hiodo. Your father, President Okumura, was a very good friend of mine. Ah. Hiodo? She's the mayor? Oh, okay, guys, don't panic. <laughs> oh, could it be your Mari-san? Yes, yes. Oh, that lifts my heart. It's been ever so long. Wow. Uh, Haru, do you know this lady? Yes, of course I do. She used to come visit me back when I was little. Huh. Mari-san was one of my father's clients. They used to go golfing all the time. And she'd always keep me company whenever I was bored or lonely. One question is, what made her change to become a freaking monarch? There's gotta be something to that, right? Like, it's not just like, oh no. It's not like, oh no, I'm suddenly evil. Some freaking coincidence. Yeah. Ooh, you got that right. Haru-chan, I'm so sorry about what happened to your father. Well, that seems genuine, at least. You know, she... she, 
I mean, I think she does, to some extent, seem excited to see Haru, but like, also she's a monarch, so we don't know how many, uh, how much, and she's also a politician, so we have no idea how much of that is true and how much is this a facade. Oh no, thank you for your concern. Well, if there's anything that's been troubling you, you know that I'm here for you with open arms. I appreciate you saying that, but I'm okay. I have good people managing my company, and I'm working hard to finish my degree. And while I'm grateful to be surrounded by such wonderful people, I still have to walk on my own two feet. Haru-chan, my, how you've grown. Mari-san, I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> oh, please forgive me. It seems my emotions got the better of me. Now then, are you here visiting with your friends? I hope you're all enjoying Sapporo to the fullest. Rest assured, my staff is working hard to make Sapporo a beautiful and worthwhile destination for all. Don't just stare at the ground. Replace these hideous flowers at once. Damn. I'm on it. <laughs> oh, man. Goodness. The moment I turn away, they all start slacking off. Ah, uh, I'm sorry you had to see that. Now, as much as I'd like to keep chatting, there are preparations to be done. This election has kept me busy night and day. But do let me know if there's any way I can help you. She does seem nice to Haru. Like, she doesn't seem to be asking for any... For any, uh, what you call it, favors or anything like... Unless she's trying to cozy up to the Okumuras. Sorry to be so blunt, but she seems really two-faced. Yeah. Mari-san, you used to be so kind to everyone. You think maybe she's not the monarch we're after? Oh no, she definitely is, but there seems to be more to it than that. The two-faced comment really stands out, and, and it is true. Like, there's very much a bad side to her, but it also seems like she has a soft side for Haru, at least. I don't know. We just saw her go apeshit on that guy. Normal people don't get pissed over plants. Yeah. Are you okay, Haru? Yes, I'm fine. Just a little surprised is all. Oh, yeah, it must be a bit of a shock to you. Sorry, I didn't get her keyword. I was preoccupied. Ah, that. Don't stress over it. Thanks for the concern, but I'm fine. I'm glad to hear that. And as far as the keyword goes, we still have that public speech. True. Koto's right. Our chance will come. For today, let's go around asking for rumors on Hyodo and make that our objective. Yes. I'd like to find out what changed her. Nighttime. Mm hmm. Looks like there's all kinds of people here, meaning there are all kinds of rumors, too. What we want is any kind of info that points to Mariko Hyodo being a monarch. Let's go. Begin investigation. Looks like our investigation is taking time at night. Taking Thank place you. at night this time. Well, let's take care of the shop that was only open at night Can while I we're here. Find some? Is that what you want? Here you are. Take it. Revive is... Like. Ooh. Here you are. <laughs> Full revive. Nice. For now, I'm gonna ignore talking to people, and I just want to get, uh, or this. That works, too. Tobias, there's been an emergency. Please come to the vending machine by the pharmacy immediately. Mm, Something happened to Yusuke. You might want to go find him. He's just staring at a vending machine. I feel like this is a Yusuke brand type of problem. Can I help you find Is that all you need? Alright, well, we'll talk to Yusuke before we end things off, at least. Hey. What happened, Yusuke? Hey. Look at this. It's canned juice featuring milk and fish on the label. Mm -hmm. Returning search result. This this drink called Primordial Soup is considered a regional specialty. They press the juices out of locally sourced fish and blend it with fresh Hokkaido milk. It's marketed towards men in particular. <sighs> I don't know about all that. I'm just worried about the smell. Who would invent such a monstrosity? It seems Sapporo's culture is not to be trifled with. Seriously. Sheesh, you got my hand all standing up for nothing. Anyway, are you done gathering rumors? 
Not in the slightest. I was still so taken aback that I lost focus. Perhaps I can recover if I offer this to you, Tobias. Please inform me of how it tastes. <laughs> A prebiotic soup that enhances the potency of one's manhood. Whether such marketing has merit, we shall perhaps see. Hmm? Uh, never, never change, Yusuke. The second that it was Yusuke that was texting us, I knew it was not going to be anything serious. Uh, all right. Well, we'll 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 look at stuff later. For now, I'm just going to enjoy the the night lights and the night music as well. This, next time, we'll we'll look more into. We'll look more into gathering intel, and then we'll probably go on to the next day and see what that speech is all about. Adios, ciao, sayonara, signing off, bye.